Hey you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I modify a set of Delorto Venturis to so that they can take uh, 36 DCD7 Venturis. Um, you're gonna ask me why do I want to do that? Well, I'm gonna put these carbs on my Nissan 1400, and and I've got two sets of those Delortos, and both of them has got 32 Venturis in, and that, in, in my opinion, it's way too big. Um, but first, before I do that, a little bit of Venturi logic. So I'm one of the lucky ones that's still got a couple of these books around. I actually have three. And I've pulled some information out of it. So this is what I found. Alfa Romeo, 1300, Solex 32, Solex on it. They had 23 uh, uh, Venturis in. Alfa Romeo, 1300, had 40 Webers on. They had, there was a model that had 30 Venturis in. There was another, that 1600 actually had 27 in. Then there was another 1300 Alpha, um, also with 40 Webers on, with 28s. That's a 160Z, a 140Z, sorry, came out with the Lorto 40s. I don't know, it's not listed. And then the Renault Gordini 1300 had 30s on. Bear with me. So all of those engines listed there are actually, they have hemispherical cylinder heads. The Alphas and the Gordini has got a hemi cylinder head on, a hemispherical cylinder head, which is fantastic for performance because the air comes in on the one side, on, on the inlet valve, spark plugs in the middle and the exhaust is on the other side. It's not just a cross flow, it's a hemispherical. So it's fantastic for, for performance. Um, the R8 Gordini had a side cam in, but it had two uh, 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 rocker shafts. So it was as if it was a twin cam. The Alphas were all twin cam engines. The 140Z there is an overhead cam engine. It's actually a Japanese copy of an old Merc engine. Um, brilliant engine. Um, not hemispherical, but yeah, brilliant engine. So they, those are actually all high performance engines. And, and they, do have a, they do have more volumetric flow than my A14 or my A15, um, which is actually quite an old engine, um, technology-wise. Um, Something else I want to say. I've been playing around with, with carbies on my bucket. I buy and sell quite a lot of them. And um, uh, what I've found from experience is, is with, a, with a 32 Weber with small Venturis, um, I think they've got 24s in. I think I've got 24 Venturis in. Sorry, I can't remember now. Um, you've got nice low down torque. Um, but as you rev it up, I've got 276 cam in my van. As you rev it up, yeah, by six, six and a half, it starts running out of a bit of steam, um, which is fine. But now remember, that's a twin choke carb. So I, I reckon if you've got four chokes with four 24 Venturis in, it'll perform way better. Then I also have a, a, a 38 D gas that I made progressive. And I think 38 D gas, bear with yep. me. 38 D gas has got two 27 chokes, two 27 Venturis. And, and, and you've got to, you lose a lot of low down torque with those big Venturis. So I reckon if I start playing around with 24 Venturis in my carbs and then progressively go up or maybe start at 27s or 28s and progressively go down, I will find a happy spot um, somewhere in between. Um, I have to. Um, and, and, and the problem is, yeah, on our part of the rock, you don't get those small Venturis. Um, they're just not available. So I'm going to have to make a plan with them. The thing is, I, I, I work with my van. Um, today I went and did two jobs with it again. I've got two or three toolboxes on the back. I've got a step ladder on the back. And, and sometimes I drive 100, 150 kilometers with it. Um, but also, it, it performs better than any other standard 1400 out there. Um, because of 276 cam and the carbies I've got on it, played with the head a little bit and what have you. Um, but I think it's time to put the side rafts on. I'm build, building an A15. Um, it's not done yet because um, I don't have time. But um, I want to get these side rafts on and, and I'm going to get it to run as nice as my 3236 or the 32 that I had on or my, my 38D gas and, and I will get it to be light on fuel and, and it will drive proper and decent and it will make po more performance. That's the challenge. And I'm sure I'll achieve it because uh, uh, these cars that I 
got dot, dotted down here. I, I've got friends that had those cars back in the day and they all, all drove normal and they were very quick. Um, and it's because they had the right Venturis in and the carbs were jetted properly and the cams were done properly. So if we do all of that correctly, it'll work. It has to work. This is the plan. There's a 40 right side of the Lorto. This is a damaged one. I'm not going to use this one. Um, I use this one for space. There's the Venturi. It's got that slot in it where it fits past the pump jet. And it simply just slots in there. And then your auxiliary Venturi goes in. There's a screw on the side that keeps it in place for the auxiliary Venturi and it stays in place. Can't turn or slide or go anywhere. And by accident, I looked at this and one of these, this is from a 36 DCD7, this is a 24. This was lying on the bench and I looked at it and I thought to myself, that, that can fit in there. If I put that on the lathe and cut that little piece out, that'll slide in there. There will be meat enough there to keep this in one piece. Um, I must just look at the angle. I think that the running back angle is two and a half degrees, but I believe the running back angle on these are also two and a half degrees. I'll just check that. And if I can put that in there, um, I can I can then change Venturi's to my heart's consent. And this is what I'm talking about. 23s, 24s, 25s, 26, 27s, 28s. And I've got more. I've got loads lying around here. These are all for 36D series 7. So if I can get that modified and get those carbs on my van, I can start playing around with this. So the outside diameter on this is 37.93. Um, and all I have to do, I suppose it depends on where you measure, is I've just got to bore that out. To that size this overall diameter is 45.7 so there's enough flesh left um, to keep this secure this overall length is 42.4 that overall length is 34.9 um, this will fit in there i think i'm gonna put that in the lathe quickly and, and cut it and sacrifice one and see what it does Bear with me a sec. So, okay, I'm back from the lathe. There it is. There's a bit of distortion in the metal inside there, but it doesn't matter. Um, I can now choose, there's a 26 century. I want that to be a 26. This is the old Delorto casing, that's 36 DCD7. I want that to be a 36, and I simply push it in there. There we go. All I have to do is put that little slot in. I'll do that quickly, but that's not a that's not a major issue. And it fits quite nice. That's the bottom of it. It's got the same two and a half degree angle as the Delorto, this Weber car, Venturi. There it is, 26. Simple as that. So if I've put the slot in, I think it looks alright. And now it'll It'll fit in where it's supposed to. There we go. Just like it was made for there. Other side. Oops. Other side. There it is. All sorted. Thinks it looks alright. I suppose this is not for everybody. Um, if you have Venturis lying around, like I've got, I've got, I don't know, 40, 50 DCD7 Venturis and all kinds of sizes. The biggest I've got is a 28. Um, I don't think I'll go that big anyway. I think this 27 is going to do it for me. Or a 26. I've got plenty 27s, so it's fine. I think I'm going to start... I don't know, I think I'm going to start at a 25 maybe. Put it in, put it on the vehicle, put small jets in, take it for a run. I spoke to a guy the other day, I phoned him and asked him if he had smaller 
Venturi's fought a lot of carbs than the 32s. He says to me, no, just use the 32s. Just put bigger main jets in. I'm thinking to myself, that's not what I want to do. Now you're starting off too rich to start off with. You know, you don't want to do that. You want to, you want to start off nice and lean. Um, you wanted to perform nicely. You know, leaner is better. You wanted to perform nicely. You wanted to be fairly light to induce, but you don't want a flat spot. Um, you also don't want no power downstairs. Um, you know, if you pull away the traffic light, you don't want to rev the living daylights out of it to get anywhere. Spoke to a guy the other day, couldn't even get over the mountain uh, with side roughs on. Jetting. When I say jetting, jetting Venturi is everything. I mean, jetting is, is, is all of that. It's a whole package. It's not just one jet. It's a whole, it's a whole package. So anyway, that's that. That's, that's how you modify the Lorto Venturis if you don't have smaller Venturis to put in there and you've got 36 DCDs to lie around. Anyway, have a lovely day. I hope it helps someone. Keep safe.